This is James Holder for IFL TV. I'm in the Metro Point Radio Arena today in Newcastle, ahead of the Stuart Hall versus Paul Butler Bill. Also fighting on the bill, I've got Dave Allen. How are we doing, Dave? I'm very well, thank you. Good. Very this well. is a post fight interview after your fight with Larry Olobimaway. I hope yep. I pronounced that right. Also joined by trainer Peter Fury. How are we doing, Pete? I'm good, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Also joined by Merv Ying. How are we doing, Merv? Good, thank you. Indeed, indeed. Dave, talk me a little bit through the fight, please. A lot of bad blood and a lot of build up between yourself and Larry. To be honest, there's not a lot of bad blood because I've never met the man in my life. Uh, the first time I've ever seen it was in the ring tonight, and um, all that's gone now, that's a load of nonsense. That was just before the fight. Was that just a hype and sell the fight? Just get a bit of it. You know me, James, now. You've known me a long time. You know what I'm like. It's just, uh, it was just a bit of a, just me being me, really. And uh, he obviously didn't take it very well. And I, I said after the fight, I said, I said I was a big fan of yours, Larry, coming through. And, um, you know, I've been in the ring with you now. I can do nothing but respect them, man. Indeed, indeed. How do you think you, you dealt with Larry today? Do you think he was fully equipped and on your job? Well, I got in there and, um, you know, from the last fight, I mean, I've been with Peter now um, seven weeks and the, and the, the, the difference I could tell was the, the fitness because everything slowed down because I was fit and I was able to, to get a breath in. Um, and I could, everything was slowed down. Um, and he, he retired at the end of the second round with shoulder injury. I, I, I'm not sure... He, Possibly had a shoulder injury, but um, I don't think the fight would have gone on much longer. Um, regardless, having been with Peter Fury for seven weeks now, you've yeah. already dropped two stone. Did you, did you feel the mobility and, and just helped you a lot more today? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I was I was moving to the left. I should have been moving with the right, but that's more down <laughs> to a lack of brain cells than uh, than listening to Peter. That was just me being me again. But um, no, the training, uh, the difference in the training is the, is the level of uh, professionalism, which is not being shown by Eddie Chambers right now behind me <laughs> while I do this. But, uh, I'm, I'm, just, I'm talking about the professionalism of the camp, and Eddie Chambers <laughs> brings his 5 foot 11 self into the camera. And, uh, 5 foot 11. 5 foot 11 and a half. Uh, no, the training's been top class. It's been, to, to be training around the likes of Tyson and Eddie and, uh, and Yui. Um, I've, I've just upped my game. I've, just, I've not wanted to let Peter and the rest of them down by giving less than 100%. Indeed. Peter, if you were could bring you in, sir, how would you assess Dave Banner's performance today? I assess it as very good because he's, um, he's fought, he's had five fights, he's fought Latvians and a few Bulgarians. So Larry was a big step up. He's had a lot more fights than Dave's had any fights, amateur and pro. So basically, it's a good step up for Dave. Larry's mixed in top circles where Dave hasn't. Like I said, Dave's very inexperienced, he's, had, he's only been in like Latvian fighters, but saying that, the level of training he's had, the kind of sparring he's been getting, and the ability of the lad, he's got natural ability, he can box. So I was happy with Larry, certain people around his team wasn't happy with Larry, they thought Larry was a bit too soon for Dave. But obviously, I'm the one doing the training, and I'm the one looking at the fighter, and I know when my fighters are ready. So, regards to the fight itself, he was catching Larry with some heavy shots. I just wanted him to relax, box, which he done. There's, a little th there's few, always things you can work on, but I'm very happy with it. Larry got eight with shots, mm -hmm. and let's be honest, you know, it's the oldest trick in the book pulling out with a shoulder. Do you, you know, think Larry Larry was hurt? And he, you know, look, I like Larry. Face. You know, there's no problem at all. But basically, and I think he done the wisest thing to be honest, because Dave Allen hits extremely hard. He hits with a lot of power, and it was only one way traffic. So rather than the referee and having a problem and going down and getting counted out, you know, it's probably the best thing what Larry's done, you know. He's, at the end of the day, he's coming towards the end of his career, you know, so what's the point in getting hurt if you're on an uphill battle? It wasn't as if he was in the two rounds, mm -hmm. he was losing both rounds convincingly anyway, and he was getting hurt, big Larry. He was feeling the shots. So my opinion is, you know, Dave's had a second round retirement. In, uh, if big Larry was in the fight, he would have been in the fight. So it's a good win for Dave, because he's got somebody out of there with experience, you know, and he's, um, you know, for a young kid, he's coming on. So it's a 100% improvement than the last time because the last time he fought a Bulgarian, he pounded a draw out. He was two stone overweight. And now we've got a lot higher class opponent in Big Larry. And he's got Larry out of there within just after two rounds. So basically, that's, a, that's how much he's come on in a short space of time. So very Good. happy with it. Given how much he's improved in seven weeks under your tutelage and within the camp and the sparring he's been getting, what can you do with him in 18 months' time, Peter? Well, look, let me just put it this way. I said to Dave Allen only two and a half weeks ago, I said, unless you shape up, you're not boxing on the seventh. I said, you're not going to be boxing. You ain't going to fill a card up. You're not fighting. So unless I see you're ready, you won't fight. So basically, he's got his head down, and in that two weeks, he's dropped another half a stone off. 
he's got committed and I'm happy to let him box. So basically that's where he's at. This lad, this guy's the limit and this is what I like about young heavyweights bringing them through. Yeah, You've only just scratched the surface of what Dave's about. He's got a lot more to come. The potential's there, we've just got to get it out of him piece by piece, step by step, but he's got a big future out of him. And you know, he's, he's dedicated and what I like about the lad, he trains, he'll train like a Trojan and that's, that's what makes champions. It's what, it's, it's what you do in the gym, not in the ring, that says where you're going in, in the sport. So very, very happy with him. And it's a big step up and he's come through with shining colours, so congratulations. Dave, where do you go from here and what, what kind of level of opposition do you, are you looking at now? Will you be looking at the same kind of calibre of Larry now you, you've, you've protested yourself? Yeah, that's, that's not a question that I can probably answer. Um, that'll be down to Peter. Um, and it depends, it depends what happens in the next seven weeks. You know, the first seven weeks gone great, if the next seven weeks gone as, as good as that, then um, well, obviously the, the, the Larry fight, I mean, I've wat having watched him, his first four or five professional fights were, uh, you know, it just leading up to my first amateur fight. So going in there tonight, I was going in there with someone I used to see on uh, on Saturday fight night. So it was a bit like, it's a big name to someone like me, a young kid. Um, but if, if obviously if Peter says I, I can do it, then he, he wouldn't. He's not going to put me in there to lose, is he? Uh, well, let's not let's not forget Big Larry's been in with Derek Chisora. He's fought Sam Sexton twice. You know, Indeed. so uh, you know it, it, when did he box Sam last? Not long ago, is he? No. And he, he went the distance there. Eh? So the distance was I same. think he's only been stopped once legitimately. The Jamie Hayes stoppage was a bit was a bit uh, precarious. I think I think he's only been stopped once by McDermott. Uh, so uh, Peter's happy, Merv's happy, the team's happy, and I'm happy. I'd just like to say a lot of thank yous for the last two days. Um, Asgi, over there, if you'd like to pan the camera over. Uh, and Ramsey, you know, they've been a massive help. They've, uh, they've been my babysitters. They've, uh, they've fed me. <laughs> you know, the, the, oh, Ramsey's over there. Did you see Ramsey? Ramsey's over there. Yeah, we know oh, Ramsey yeah, at Michael they've, TV. They've been great the last two days, and uh, I'm really grateful for what they've done. And uh, I'm grateful that uh, Peter's uh, took me on board. and. Uh, let me join such a, a camp like that because there's not many, um, there's not a better camp in the in the country right now. I mean, you got uh, you're not very often you get that many world class fighters working together, um, and they're a big family. And I feel like they, they took me in uh, as one of their own. And uh, this is why the first the first time in my boxing life that I've knuckled down because I really want to do well for Peter, um, and he's, he's got my 100% trust and respect. And that that is why I've really uh, knuckled down. And um, and. And I think uh, from here on, the, the, the only way I can go is up. Well, long mate, we could continue. You've never lacked confidence, so it's good to see you putting that into practice and spending extra time in the gym and stuff. Yeah. Hearing reports from Peter, you're doing fantastically, so can't be long till we see the White Rhino challenging for some kind of domestic titles. No, um, it'll come in time. It'll come when it comes. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm certain that one day I will get there. Whenever that, whenever that will be, um, I will get there. Uh, I've always believed in myself. I just needed this opportunity that Peter's given me to, uh, to to do that. Well done for season the moment, Dave. Congratulations on your victory today over Larry, and thank you for giving me a bit of time today. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, lads. Thank you.